Hey everyone, this is My Alcohol Free Life channel. Thanks a lot for stopping by. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. My name is Terry G and again, thanks a lot for stopping by. You know, I'm just making a quick video. I'm just on my way to work. You know, the traffic wasn't too bad. I got some time to, to make a little video. And last night I was at a meeting and I spoke at that meeting. And the general theme of that meeting was change, right? We need to change in our sobriety. And as I was speaking, I was constantly thinking about changing. And the first couple of years, two years of my so-called journey of recovery, there was no change in my life. I thought for sure that I, if I just quit the alcohol, that life would get better. And it did get better. I, I, I was eating properly. I was sleeping a little better. Financially, life got better. But emotionally and mentally, my life got a lot worse. Quitting booze, quitting the drink is a big deal. It is, it really is a big deal. So if you've quit alcohol and you're experiencing what I'm talking about, it's perfectly normal. But we need to change our lives. We need to find different ways how to cope one day at a time without the alcohol. Like for myself, you know, I had to practice patience. I had to go to counseling. I had to not make decisions in that first year. I had to reach out for advice tell people what was going on with me, ask for help in my life to help me change my life. Because alcoholism is a disease and it doesn't stop once we quit drinking. We still have the ism, you've heard that before probably, we still have that behavior. You know, the old saying is, if you sober up a drunken horse thief, you still have a sober drunken horse thief. He's still doing the same behaviors and we need to change that. We need to make a 180 change in our lives and through support groups, the 12 steps, if you're in a 12 step program, working those programs can help us change our lives. But thinking that if we just quit alcohol and things are gonna get better, well, they're not. Some of us, they may get better, but they probably won't get a lot better. They'll probably get a lot worse. And if you're anything like me, you're probably gonna relapse a few times and give up and feel pretty hopeless about the whole drinking thing. But alcoholism is a disease, it's an illness. It's not your fault that you're an alcoholic. It's not my fault that I'm an alcoholic, but I am responsible for my life once I quit drinking booze. I need to do things to help me. If I have an anger issue, if I'm going through divorce, if I'm having financial difficulties, if I'm having difficulties in dealing with people and places and things, I need to take a look at that and I need to do something about that and find a new way of coping with life, a new way of dealing with stress. And one of the best ways I found is working the 12 steps uh, and the 12 step program, but also going to counseling, talking about my past, asking people their opinion of things before I go ahead and do it and just slow down life in general. Just slow down things and work on my recovery and things will come up in daily life that's, you know, will be problematic, stressful, good things and just deal with them as they come. But we need to start dealing with things. We need to change our lives and just take it one day at a time. But quitting the alcohol is probably not enough. We need to make a 180 in our daily lives, like giving up our old drinking buddies, not going to our old drinking haunts, you know, our old bars. Maybe we have to get out of a relationship that's not good for us. Maybe we have to change our jobs. There's a lot of things that we need to do. But the thing that we need to do the most is just take it one day at a time and not quit drinking. I mean, sorry, <laughs> and quit drinking. Just take it one day at a time and quit the booze and stay off it because I'm gonna tell you something. It's difficult to stop drinking. It really is. A lot of issues come up, a lot of old issues come up, and it's really difficult, it really is. But it's well worth it, it's well worth it. I've been in sobriety now, in my journey of recovery for many years, 29 years now. I've quit drinking long, lo much longer than I drank. But I tell you something, it was difficult but we must change our lives. We must change the way we look at life and then we must change our attitude towards us and the world around us. And you will see the miracle 
will take place. It really will. Sobriety is a good way of living. It really is. It really is. It just takes effort. It's an illness. It's, uh, it's in the medical books. It's not your fault that you became an alcoholic, but we need to be accountable and responsible for our behavior, the way we think, and we need to go out there and get what we want in life without the booze, without the booze. And you'll see, you'll get exactly what you need in your life and you'll get exactly what you want in your life. But you must, must be patient and just take it one day at a time, okay? Thanks for stopping by. My name is Terry G. This is my Alcohol Free Life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Can you take another second and hit that like button? But, you know, thanks a lot for stopping by. I do appreciate everybody who watches my video, good or bad, if you like them. I'm just I'm glad you stopped by and at least keep an open mind and get out there and do something about your life, okay? Stay sober, stay safe, and just remember, we are in this together. Together, we can get sobriety. Today, we together, we can make the journey of recovery much, much easier for ourselves. Guarantee it, guarantee it. Like I said, I'm just on my way to work. Ciao for now, I'll see you later, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.